people and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 1.24pm. Right, so I'm here in my flask of water stuff. Um, um, Harry is asleep. Uh, Max is over there uh, rummaging about. I'm... My phone's going off again. Hello? Oh, hello, is that Crystal? Yes, that's me. Hello, my name's Kate Ingalls from Healthy Home Solutions, just in partnership with the Vulnerability Registration Service. Um, is it an okay time to talk? Um, can you tell me what it's about? Yeah, um, I'm calling from Healthy Homes. Um, we're working in partnership with the Vulnerability Registration Service in order to make UK homes healthier, like we're raising awareness on um, carbon monoxide safety, um, telephone preference services, priority service register, uh, the vulnerability registration service that helps people protect themselves against debt and financial problems, social broadband tariffs, things like that really. Uh, yeah, could you call me back at another time? I'm a bit busy at the moment. Yeah, of course I can. Have you got a, a preference? Daytime or? Yeah, uh, yeah, in the morning if you don't mind. Tomorrow morning, not a problem at all. Thank you. Thanks, bye bye. bye. Right guys, so that person called on a no caller ID. Um, I've um, I had a message on my other Flirt Finder profile, and you know I recorded someone's voice. Um, it sounded really quite frightening. It sounded like they were off the cast of Emmerdale. Um, well, this person is now got inside my other flirt finder profile and they started asking questions this morning and trying to frighten the fuck out of me so this guy said he was called Ross Ross then I transferred him over to a different whatsapp account where I've got a profile of a cat so it's not got my photo on it not got any information about me so we spoke on there and the first thing he said what's your real name I didn't give him my name profile picture of a young man possibly 39 to 40 with his child his boy so you've got a picture of a bearded young man with a boy then they start making alarming comments um, He's 39 years old and apparently he's had a heart attack already. So he, he informed me that he'd had a heart attack. And my father, Derek, died of a heart attack in 2021. He said he lost his father to a heart attack. He was, they, they tried to frighten and alarm you so that you get anxious and you don't go outside. And this happens every time... I'm due to take my dog for a walk either in the morning, in the afternoon or the evening. I get alarming conversations and alarming phone calls, distressing. So it's nearly half past one, right, and I'm obviously due to take my dog out for a walk and I'm charging up my other phone which can take videos full length of what people are doing when I go outside. So I've got my camera on charge, a better one, ready to go out this afternoon. Um, so basically, again, it's someone that can't meet me. They said they come from Scotland. So they're now going to put on a Scottish voice. The last funny voice was a Yorkshire accent. So now they're telling me they come from Scotland. They tried to get me, Crystal, to have a phone conversation with them. And I said, no, I'm busy, you know, maybe later on in the evening. I said, whereabouts in Scotland do you come from? Um, they said Lockerbie. Lockerbie, where the disaster was. Alexa, what happened in Lockerbie? From the conversation.com. On December 21st, 1988, 
a Pan Am jet exploded over the Scottish town of Lockerbie. You see how distressing and alarming this person is? That was an airplane disaster, Lockerbie, in the 80s. So they apparently come from Lockerbie, and they were five years old when the Lockerbie disaster happened, nearly right outside their front door, apparently. That's what I've been told. It's all catalogued on WhatsApp. It's screenshotted and everything. They want to talk to me at 7pm this evening. Ross, apparently. Um, so we'll see what happens. Fake profiles, fake conversation. They are just a complete fabricator and they're trying to frighten me. Now I've reported all this to the police. The police aren't doing anything about it. I think this person is dangerous. They could possibly be a terrorist. I don't know. Right. So I had a phone call from my mother whilst I was talking to this Ross on WhatsApp. My mother Jennifer rang the phone. Welcome to your EE voicemail. You have two new messages. First new message received yesterday at 9.06 p.m. Good evening, do not touch me. Uh, message deleted. Next new message received today at 12.24 p.m. Uh, good morning, Jennifer. Could I need to update one telephone call to you, Jennifer, from me, Jennifer, from my landline phone. Uh, give me, as I said, I'm giving you the usual daytime telephone call. I'll ring you again later. If you need me or want to say anything to me, give me a ring. I'm in all day. Bye. Message deleted. End of messages. Main menu. To review... I'm sorry, this is a serious nutcase. This is a dangerous person. Who is it? Not my mum, I'm not talking about the mother. The person that's saying they, they're just lying. They lie about everything, but then something nasty happens. And it is beginning to really frighten me. So after my mum's phone call, um, I haven't seen a post lady or a post person today. I decided to go downstairs past number three's wreath. There's a wreath in the hallway on somebody's door. I went past the wreath, down the stairs to my post box, where I expect everyone's got one of these. Rochester Road Closures, Christmas Events 2023. Rochester Christmas Market, Saturday 25th and Sunday 26th of November, Friday 1st of December, Saturday 2nd and Sunday 3rd of December, Friday 8th, Saturday 9th and Sunday 10th of December. And it tells you the roads affected by the road closures. Castle Hill, E. Paul Lane, Bowley Hill, tells you all the closures. Crow Lane at its junction with the High Street. And this is all, this has been sent out by Claire Horan. H-O-R-A-N, Claire Horan. Festivals and events manager she is, if anyone's interested, Claire Horan. So I had two packages, Royal Mail, My Phone Store, Bar Street, Birmingham. Oxygen, or a take on oxygen, it's not, so oxygen is O-X-Y-G-E-N, this is oxygen, O-X-I-J-E-N, remember that my mother's name is Jen, Jenny, my name is Crystal, this has come from Bolton, and there are two phone chargers, so I've got the phone charger for my A14 Samsung, 
so I can now charge up my phone before I go outside and take videos that aren't going to get cut off. It's a brand new phone. And I got a new iPhone charger, iPhone lead, iPhone charger because every so often the iPhone charger conks out and I can't charge up my normal phone. Now normally I'd be round my mother's, wouldn't I? Round my mum Jennifer's, but she's not phoning so often now, it's erratic. It's erratic, I never know when she's going to ring. Sometimes she doesn't, sometimes she does. And she starts the phone conversation with her. And so that woman that spoke to me like some sort of canvasser was talking the same language as my mother is speaking to me over the phone. Um, a black woman, short, about five foot five with glasses, was walking down my road as my mum was speaking to me. A short black woman with glasses was walking down the road as my mother was speaking on the phone to me. So I'm still in Rochester. Right, I'm still in my home. That's what it looks like out here. He's got a mask on his face. Someone's been trying to frighten me. Someone's been trying to frighten me over the phone and WhatsApp. There's a guy there with the mask on his face. Some school lads coming down the road. Teenage lads with ties on walking down the road. Now how far does this have to go before the police do something about it? How, how dangerous does it have to get? You know, being intimidated. Because I'm just being myself. I don't want to be somebody else. I'm not Jenny. So I've been listening to Brian Harvey on YouTube. He, was, he did a live stream this morning. I listened to an hour of Brian Harvey's live stream on YouTube where he's talking about clarion housing, not doing his kitchen, and they've been complaining about him putting videos up about him talking about them. I heard him talk about Janet Street Porter, who's got red hair, glasses, and obviously funny teeth. So he's talking about Jan Janet Street Porter. Um, because YouTube notifies me when Brian Harvey has uploaded videos. Because I used to subscribe to his channel in 2019 where that Australian guy threatened me with being involved with Brian Harvey and I certainly wasn't and I am not. Right, I feel I'm being threatened, intimidated and I haven't done anything wrong. And why are people putting kids on their profile pictures? Surely Flirt Finder should be vetting these profile pictures and taking images of children off people's profiles. People on my Facebook and on Flirt Finder are putting up profile pictures of kids and they shouldn't be doing that. And when somebody contacts me with a picture of a child I tell them to take it off. I don't know why I'm getting all this abuse. I don't know why it's happening. I told that Inspector Nicole Carter that they've got the wrong person and, and it's stupid and I want it to stop. And again I will have to be contacting the police. This person isn't from Lockerbie in Scotland. They could be a terror terrorist. 
they are talking about a train disaster that happened in 1980. Now the police don't believe me that this person contacts me and then something nasty happens afterwards. It does. And they want to speak to me at 7 this evening. person is dangerous. They need the police need to catch them. Instead of sitting on their backside letting this twat terrify me. I've got to take Max out for a walk. I'll take Max out for a walk, right? But I've got to get those locks on my front door changed. That's quite urgent. Because there is a front door key and a fob that has gone missing. They all know what happened in 2008 and we, they all know what this person is, is capable of doing. Now they need to stop it before it escalates out of control. See you later.